Fellow Cancerians, welcome to your general reading for November 2024 with Major Nelson, your psychic tarot reader. We're looking at your 3D to 5D expansion journey, the journey of the soul. We're checking where you have cancer. Okay. Cancer, dealing with cancer, cancer in your chart, whatever brought you. Okay. Open yourself to the messages. It's going to be a powerful month. We're going to take a look for your finances and health and love. You know, career, physical health. How's your relationship with yourself? You know, a lot of us have fallen for this whole fallacy that the twin flame connection is about someone else. No, it's about you and your higher self and your higher connection to yourself. And when that is good and balanced and beautiful, the perfect person just comes. It's just the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs> it's beautiful. The more you love yourself, the more you get... You know, that love reflected back to you and then, you know, eventually through another person. Yeah. This November 2024, it starts off with a bang, my beautiful, beautiful, amazing Cancerians. It starts off with a bang. Friday the 1st. And Friday is the day of Venus. That's the day of love. And, you know, creativity. New moon in Scorpio. Boom. Fellow water sign energy. Okay. Things are, like less than things are straight and completely coming to the surface. Okay? Things are coming to the surface. Nothing can be hidden anymore. Look at the card you've got there for health. And health is physical health, mental health, spiritual health, emotional health, well-being. You know, that, that inner peace, that freedom we all want, that deeper calm. That sort of like, you know, makes everything just make sense. You are aligning with the higher connection here. You're definitely connecting with that higher upper realm there. This might actually be your month of final integration, my beautiful, beautiful Cancerian. You know, into that 5D. So you better be prepared for amazing things to come your way. Yeah? And if it resonates, then, you know, place your hand on your heart, take a breath and say yes. November the 2nd, Power Day, Jupiter, Sextiling Shirt, Chiron. Beautiful, beautiful energy. Mm. Love, new love, unexpected love. More than you imagined, better than you imagined. So you may have had a couple of ripples there on the water, you know, the last couple of, you know, time as it, as it passed for you in the love department. Well, things are pretty much looking up for you. Finally, with those date on, on, on March the 4th, Mars is moving into Leo energy. This is where you get to fight for what you want. So maybe you were put on the fence about a situation. You might not want to give offense. You don't want to speak out of turn. You might not want to be any, anybody uncomfortable. But as strong as my words are true, you are getting the opportunity to fight for what you want and get what you want and everybody benefits. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. If you resonate with your pleasure, hand on your heart, say yes and write it down. Say in the comments, I'm ready or write it down somewhere significant. Writing it down is powerful. We're going to end up with a message from Source there with the thought tarot. The final message for you for November. But let's start here with finance. The card that was in reverse. Spirit of gratitude. Mm, mm, mm. Now is here a recipe for success. Fellow Cancerians. Spirit of gratitude. Gratitude is and has always been and will always be your superpower. Because when you are grateful for something, you are vibing high. And because you vibe high, you align with that dimension where things are working out. And the longer you stay in whichever particular dimension, whether it's the best of the best or the worst of the crappers, it eventually becomes your experience of life your predominant experience of life so the more you are grateful the more you sort of you know build momentum in that dimension and that that becomes your natural experience of life so for finances for career for expansion you might be in a little bit of a spot there cancer where you were saying to yourself what is going on you know i'm i'm doing what i'm supposed to do and it seems like nothing is happening cancer everything is about to explode in your favor health we already spoke about that beautiful divine matrix card over there okay health mental health physical health well-being in a sense of peace and calm you're about to go to next level you see that you see those um 
those um, vibes that you used to get, those mood swings that you used to get cancer that annoyed you so much as well. Those are be about to become your best amigos. Okay? This is a time where, where you can thrive. If you can feel it, you can have it chups, just like that. Very fast, fast um, manifestation. Love, mm, the uncharted sea. You never thought that things were going to go this way. You didn't. You didn't think maybe you're going to feel about this person the way that you feel about them or that you'll be ready for love, that you're ready to move on, that you're ready to take the next necessary step. You didn't think that. No, you wanted it. Maybe you wanted to think it. You might have fooled yourself that you thought it, but you didn't think it. But now it's just so, it's almost like you came to this crossroads and you are taking the right turn. You're making the right decision. Okay. There's this. And, and. I don't see it as turbulent love. I just see it as it's almost like two timelines are quite a, kind of like connecting, conglomerating. On and but there's it's it's such a it's such a huge twist in the plot that it may feel a little wild there for a moment. And to others it may seem chaotic, but to you I see it's like being on a roller coaster. You are just having the most fun, like this whole roller coaster life. Yeah. Let's see what we've got here for you from Mother Gaia. If it's your first time here, I want to welcome you, my beautiful, beautiful Cancerians. And if you're coming back, welcome back. Thank you for your support. Tell your friends, and if you haven't yet done so, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Here for finances. You are getting what better card can you ask for when it comes to finances? I mean, it's written right there. White on snazzy background. Manifestation. Libyan gold. Tech type. This is a beautiful beautiful crystal when you work with this crystal in crystal healing you know it's 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 like this guardian angel energy just comes in it's so beautiful so you want to know cancer when it comes to your finances you want to know that spirits got your back you're gonna be fine you're gonna be a-okay you have got absolutely nothing to worry about everything is going to be fine okay everything's going to be fine everything's going to be more than fine because this is breakthrough energy. And can't see if it resonates with you. Place your hand on your heart, take a deep breath and say yes to it. Breathe it in. Say yes. By saying yes, we make it real. Yes? Write it down in the comments. Say yes. I'm ready. And if you see someone else's comment, then, you know, send them some love. Yeah? We're all in need of love. Health. Ancient wisdom. Ancient wisdom crystal. Mm -hmm. I see you going next level. Yeah, I don't know if it's through teaching, if it's through coaching, it might be both. Let's just put this one like that for now. But things are surely looking up here for you. That I can tell you for a fact. It's like this ancient knowledge is unlocking inside of you. You know, all of that suppressed um, knowledge, knowing, wisdom, you know. And the Anunnaki sort of like simultaneously upgraded and suppressed us, you know. It's about to come forth for you. There's a, there's a huge shift that's taking place here in your life, Cancer. It's, it's huge. It's huge. Like, I can't even believe that I'm looking at this. It's huge. Huge shift. No? Huge shift. Taking place for you. Huge. And it's in your favor. You want to, I won't say roll with the punches, but you want to flow with the energy of life, your cancer. Okay? Brazilian eye, flexibility. Let your heart guide you. This space where you are in, it's not so much of a head space, it's a mind space. Let your mind guide you. Let's see here what Osho Zen Tarot, what are some messages from your soul? Got a beautiful course on Osho Zen. Take a look at it down below in the description. Rightness. This card is all about being ready for that next step in life. You will want all this knowledge and the potential inside of a seed. So you've taken the steps, you've put in the work. You know, you've moved through life. And then you were ready and then you grew into the potential and a bloom and finally a beautiful apple that is now ready 
to go into its next cycle of life. So whatever happens, don't think of anything as lost here. Okay. And I can also see that you've put in a lot of work when it comes into forgiveness of the past, my beautiful cancer. Now you are about to benefit from having put in that work. Okay. So, you know, all the work that you've put in and how you have to really build yourself up. Now you're going into the next um, cycle of it, which is benefiting, health, letting go. Things were bugging you. Things were bugging you badly yesterday. Yes? And there is still some releasing that is taking place during the month of November. You are encouraged to embrace it, to consciously embrace the release of the emotions, of the unfinished business, of the loose ends, of the frayed sort of things that are holding you back. Okay, this is almost a space where you can think of it when you wear sort of like your favorite garment um, and say like the zipper's not working so well. You know, it's got like Velcro, the Velcro's not working so well. It is those sort of like reparations that are taking place. Inner voice, this is moon energy. Okay, This cancer is, again, when it comes to love, you are so strongly, I've never seen such a strong love message for you, Cancer. You are so strongly encouraged to, to sort of like just let, how do I say this? Let love show you the way. Let your heart show you the way. This is a time, November year, there's, there's a lot of faith that is out from you pertaining to love specifically. And I want to encourage you to open yourself to that love. Okay. To those of you that are taking my monthly full moon journeys, sacred journeys, group healings, they from 13 to 15 November this month. And also on that 4th of November, that really powerful day that Mars going into Leo, I am launching a beautiful online coaching of the seven hermetic principles, the, the things that you want to get in order for your life to go brilliantly beautiful. And it starts on November the 4th. Master level coaching, absolutely brilliant. That psychic development oracle card reading course I did was sort of like the foundation to it. You can check the links out for all of those in the description. Huh? Let's get some more going for you here with some guidance on finance. So, oh, oh my goodness, this is incredible. So we're looking at finances now, career, that sort of thing. And you get the four of ones. So what I see happening for you, Cancer, this is so beautiful, like it's almost got me in tears. So what I see for you is that you were ready, what you are really becoming ready for is that next step to really truly let someone in. Because, you know, someone sometimes comes not even in our life and then we not really fully let them in. You know, we pull a bit of a Virgo on there because that's what Virgos often do. It's a way of protecting your heart, really, you know. And for Virgos, it's like their sanity, very much the same thing, really, you know. We're not always aware of the fact, obviously, that we do it. So you are finding love. You are finding that high-level commitment. You are fully opening your heart to love. So if you are single, then this is the best news ever. This is like, you know, high-level commitment, possible marriage, engagement, that sort of things. For health, again, there's the release that's taking place here during November. So there are some deep releases that are taking place for you in November. Again, you are encouraged to embrace it, my beautiful Kansas, as well as be gentle with yourself. Very gentle, very kind. All right, there is a very deep wound that is healing here within you during the month of November. So it is of crucial importance that you remain incredibly kind to yourself. Okay? Yep. Love, there's the release. So what I'm seeing here for you, what might possibly be the case is that maybe you had some dealings with someone and you thought that that situation was done. But there's one final lesson there. And I don't necessarily get that you have to make physical connection with this person, you know, um, in, in order to, to, to sort of like do that release. Maybe it's just like a course or something that you take. Even as I say that, I can see in my own life how that relates as well, because I'm doing like next level theta healing, um, coaching throughout October, November and December. Let me tell you, my people, I am excited. You can check out about theta healing down below in the description. 
So it's a gentle release that's taking place over here, a gentle harvest. These, these knives may seem all treacherous and everything, but this is, look at how they place. So it seems like there's quite a lot of fear that might be present, you know, from uncertainty. Your heart might be beating a lot faster than other months. During the month of November, my beautiful Cancerians, but I also see you being very gently protected. So you might be very concerned about your heart because it seems like now that your heart's in this good place, everything else benefits from that. Definitely finances, home, everything, everything improves. But you're also in the safety net. So maybe if there was a threat before that maybe love can be a treacherous thing when you open your heart, you know, maybe that's what took you down. This guy time around, you are reminded that it is different. Okay. Four of coins, this is all about the balance in pentacles, in earth energy. Okay, So you're getting your balance back. So whatever it is that you are facing, this big emotional thing that you are facing here, and I also see resolve and working through here in the month of November, it's really to your benefit. And it brings you ten of coins when it comes to love. So yes, I definitely see you uh, getting love, gaining love, aligning with love. But then what I also see simultaneously, my beautiful Cancer, is that because of that opening your heart, everything else is opening for you as well. The floodgates are opening. Place your hand on your heart. Take a breath and say, yes, dude, if it resonates, write yes in the comments. But, you know, um, when we cut ourselves off, off from love, we actually cut ourselves off from the flow, the supply of abundance of life because we are light and that is love, you know. So with this heart healing and this whatever it is that you're releasing that's so profoundly important here in November, you can be looking forward to quite a smooth future. Yes? Excellent time for you to take that Seven Emetics Principles course of mine. Check it out. You're getting the first lesson set on Monday the 4th. And then you get like a guided meditation where it's how I, I, I line it up with Theta Healing. So it is exceptionally exceptional. Trust me when I tell you. Like double whammy. Message from Source, the Hermit, Virgo Energy. In the, <coughs> sorry, the Trumps or the Major Arcana of Tarot. This is an energy that reminds you that, again, my beautiful, beautiful um, Cancer, why do I call it Gemini? Maybe there's a reason. Gemini's also got communication, it's looking at both sides. Honoring both the heart and the mind, which is interesting with this Virgo energy coming up. Maybe you're dealing with a Virgo. Because I also see in love that you may have been dealing with a bit of a elusive energy. In a sense that you both had your loose ends to tie and now you're finally ready. Because I see that you're accepting something and it's quite interesting. You might maybe probably accept that things between you and a certain person is never going to work out. And because you really finally accept it which is the power of surrender and we move out of that wanting chasing space into a more accepting, you know, receiving space. Then the love just comes to you. All the balance. Your life is about to get so amazing cancer. It is just absolutely awesome. It's absolutely awesome. Breathe in and say yes and write in the comments, yes, I'm ready. Okay? I wish you the absolute best month of your life cancer. And I appreciate that you remember to like, share, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye my beautiful Lunar Souls.